Today. I didn't get out to my text today. Who is it that God dealing with right now? Who is it? Who is it? That God said you go lay hands on that person so that they can get their miracle. pastors some time ago he something happened to his body he's going through a lot of changes so they pressed their way out to the church at the prayer meeting and at the prayer meeting sister Janiqua I want to use you Hallelujah. Said that he was there down there just praying. And said the little girl walked over there to him and said, God told me to lay hands on you. Said she hadn't been saved all that long that he was going to heal you. And he said, Don't lay your hands on me. Who can you shout Who can you shout Who can you shout I never know who shout God heal him. Say God heal him. I said God heal him. God heal him. Sometimes we expect somebody great to come from here and there and you to lay hands on. But God can heal and take you. Use whoever he wants to them. give you a miracle in your body. You just need some praises. Lay hands on God heal him. Put him back on the evangelistic field. Doing the work of God. Because there was some little, little girl. And they saved all along. Hey man, they were, that's right. They were able to hear God. Oh, I'm scared to do it. I'm scared to do it. But she struggled up a little faith. And said, Pastor. The Lord said, if I lay hands on you, he's going to heal you. He said, lay your hands on me. Hey. Oh, Hallelujah. My time is gone, and I haven't even got down to it. I was stripped today. I've been battling, y'all. I've been battling. It's been a battle this week. I said, it's been a battle this week. Oh, I got me some red, but it's been a balance. Lord, I just got so many notes. My God. Lord, and I don't know which way to go. I got so many notes. Lord, have mercy. What is you trying to say to me? Jesus. Finally, this morning, he capped it off. Lord, have mercy that, that he, he wants to visit Zion. And what you're going to get at Zion, that thing going to help to establish you so that you can go and accomplish the things that need to be accomplished. It's something about his touch. Hallelujah. You remember the man, Dora, that was dead?
dead. Hallelujah. They're just trying to make a little fun of it. Oh, how much they had the best, what you, what you call them guys that comes in and uh, call us uh, when somebody die? Corner. Corner. The corner? Corner, corner right, right. My God. See, they had some of the best, some of the best there. And so she did. Oh, but one thing they forgot. They forgot about Jesus. He's a life giver. Oh Lord, the Bible said that when Lord, when Jesus talked about it, when Jesus walked in there, said she's not dead. They started laughing at because when Mr. Sam said he did, she, a person dead, they did. She said he, she's not dead. She's only sleeping. <laughs> she said put them all out of the house. Sometimes before you can get a miracle like God want to give up, sometimes you got to get, sometimes God got to run some off. So that he can move, do whatever he want to do in the church. Lord, help me. He got everybody out of there except the man and his wife and a couple of his disciples. He said, Tabitha, all right. Give her something to eat. Lord, have mercy. Just real briefly here, real briefly. So I can kind of have we get away from this. It's two weeks I've been trying to deal with this here, and it looked like I can't even get off first base. These people was arguing with the Ezekiel. They was arguing with him. So now uh, uh, we don't think things is equal. We can't do what we want to do, and you trying to compel us to do something that we don't want to do. And I don't think I don't think it's right. I don't wear whatever I want to wear. And go wherever I want to go and do whatever I want to do. But God said it's not going to happen. Huh. Oh Lord have mercy. I'm, I'm going to take them on the second. I do it in five minutes. Sometimes, sometimes people being in the church, they, 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 they're not there to really get themselves together. And then sometimes they just need, need the word to go forth so that they can get it together. Real quickly, let's look at Proverbs chapter number two. What God's word will do if you let it. Okay, uh, well, let me see here. I want verse number. Uh, at verse number five, I think. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I skip down to verse, uh, verse number eleven. Uh huh. Yes. Hold it. Hold it. When a person can hear God's word. It will help you to detect who the evil, pe evil peoples are. Sometimes the evil people put on their Sunday go meeting clothes, sound so good, talk so good. Oh, this here was talking here. My God, Lord, have mercy. It, 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 when you, sisters, when you, when you obey the word of God, God will help you to detect that evil man. Come here, come here, yeah, come here. Daughter, there are some men that look good. And they really know how to talk. And if you're not careful, he's been around a long time because he done tricked a lot of old women. And he know you just a cook, just a little t uh, 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 a bag of tea, a little uh, kilo of tea. He'll see a swell in your little mind. But you're here to hear God's word. God's word will deliver you 
from the evil man. I wish I had some help in here. Don't care how slick he is. All he want to do is get up under your dress and skip cities. Hold it! Sisters, you got to be careful who you let get up under your dress because they might leave something the ties can't wash off. Hallelujah. Oh, see, if you come into church, you get that wisdom and that knowledge. Hey, hallelujah. Look at you need to need to decree that thing. No, my dress shall not go off unless I step out of it. Amen. To take a bath. <laughs> Until somebody put a ring on my face and we stand and both of us make a commitment, I will. And I'm not gonna just marry anything. Whoever come by, <laughs> I just put up with him. Amen, Lord. Just, 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 you know, just get no. You better not put, it, better not mess with everything because some people got the money spirits. Lord, am I in the right place? Some people got the money spirits. You can't lay down with them. You can't get up with them, and nothing that you do will please them. Okay, got kind of quiet that time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Quit it. Come on, son. Quit it. Come on, son. Come on, Rob. <laughs> it's something about God's word. Verse number 16. Bless you, finish school. How you feel? You about ready to go to college? I said, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something. That I wanna plant a seed in your mind that, that will go with you for life. If you love God, when that evil woman, I wonder who can I get to kind of demonstrate for me just a little bit here. Up. Come on, daughter. That's why Gordon looks solid at me. But you the one that you need to be looking solid at is the one that's coming. <laughs> oh, here's a young rookie here. And, you, and he's going to have a good job. And, and Lord, and you need somebody to just, you know, to, to uh, uh, bring their paycheck in once a week, a month. So, uh, 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 uh -huh, Lord, have mercy. But thank God for coming to church. Thank God for coming to church. If it had not been for the Lord, it was on my side. I would not have been here today. Oh, Lord, have mercy. 